This is Charles Onyet I'm here with Nick Colin from IGN.com. We are checking out Terra, uh, an action MMO from Blue Hole and En Masse. That's right. We, about to check out the, the starting experience, I believe. Uh huh. We just made a, a character, Mr. Kittenbottom. So, important question for you Are you going to play as Mr. Kittenbottom or as Pre Professor Meowsworth? For the sake of this video, Mr. Kittenbottom. Okay. Or you might see Professor Meowsworth in a different video. Okay. And they're this both is fundamentally identical as far as uh, as far as looks are concerned, but they're different. They're different classes. Okay. And this is just starting from scratch here. So we've That's just right. exited the character creator, uh -huh. um, and then this is sort of the the starting experience. So uh, what you're going to see is a cinematic that sort of introduces uh, the first zone, and that's actually really about all they introduce. They they sort of introduce some characters that go unnamed. Um, and I, I'm about seven levels in, and I haven't seen any of these characters since. There it is! The Island of Dawn! Now we'll see some action! Patience, recruit. Whatever's on that island wiped out the first expedition. It's a graveyard for the arrogant. Ha! A graveyard for anyone who dares to cross swords with me, maybe! Who's with me? Count me in. On the day I heard about a mysterious island rising out of the sea, I dreamed I'd see it for myself. Then you need more ambitious dreams, my friend. Mysterious island equals ancient treasures. Equals the perfect place for me. By the Titans! That island is huge! Enough chatter, recruits. Get down there and report for duty. For the Federation! So that's the introduction. Uh, the first thing you see when you land on on the island here is this character, uh, Axel. She's basically the start of your breadcrumb breadcrumb quest to send you across the island. You'll see in the mini in the corner. Oops. I see in the corner here. There's a mini map uh, that actually shows you the entire island uh, without detail. But as you get closer to enemies, you'll see enemies popping up on, on here as well as over here. Nice thing about the interface, uh, it, it does appear to be highly customizable. It is, yeah. You can move, uh, you can move a lot of the windows around. Uh, the map can be moved around. Uh, even the hot bars can be extended and moved around. Uh, but I'm not going to because that's a pain. Um, now, these red ex exclamation marks that you'll see on these characters, these are your story quests, and these will basically direct you to the next place you're meant to go. Um, as far as the way quests are given, it's, it's pretty, st it's, it's very standard, uh, very much like what you've seen in EverQuest and World of Warcraft, where it's some text and it tells you what the reward is and it tells you what you're meant to do. In this case, I'm just meant to run over to this dude. You'll see a little red icon, right, red icon there. Uh, turn it in, get some money and experience. It's very standard. And then he gives you another red quest and a yellow quest. Uh, so and the yellow quest is what a side quest? Yeah, yeah. The yellow quests are your are are the meat of the game. So the red quests just sort of connect the dots between the pubs, and the yellow quests are how you're going to get your experience and your items. These quests seem pretty easy so far. They are, they are pretty easy. I'm just skipping all of the text because I read it all before. Um, it's these. And uh, what, these what are the quest goals first. like? It seems like the the quest delivery is pretty pretty standard. But what uh -huh. what do they actually want you to do? Again, that's also really standard. It's like, it's you've seen it before. You kill lots of things. You pick up things. Uh, sometimes there's a, a strange little twist. For example, I had to kill groups of pigs, uh, and it required me to get clean kills, which I, as I discovered, seemed to mean not get hit by the pigs before I killed them, uh, which is actually harder said than done. Or easier, easier said than done. It's hard, is what I'm saying. Um, and I think that ties into what sets this game apart is, you know, maybe the the questing structures and everything like that are pretty pretty standard, at least in the early stages that we've seen so far. Um, but the combat itself is definitely a lot different than what you normally see in MMOs. And you may think, how do I not? How do I engage in an MMO, 
MMO fight and not get hit by an enemy. Like mm -hmm. that's just something that's inevitable most times. But uh, I think you can demonstrate that by fighting this wood creature this, thing. Uh, I, I'm not even going to try and pronounce these names. It's that's okay. It wood creature thing. Let's yeah, just wood, stick wood with creature that. Wood creature thing. So as you'll you'll see, I'm attacking him. And he's going to respond, and he hits me back. So I'm I'm taking damage, uh, but I can actually block uh, manually. And this this is unique to the lancer and the. Uh, uh, the Berserker, the, the axe-wielding uh, hero, I, I think that's the Berserker. Um, they both have blocks, whereas many of the other characters have dodge maneuvers. Um, that said, I can also just walk out of the way of these attacks. So in order for it to be hit by these attacks, I have to actually be hit by these attacks. So I'm going to stand here and see if he, he can actually hit me again. Yeah, as, as opposed to most MMOs where you're in sort of this magical... Uh uh, hit uh, well exchange of attacks where once you're engaged with a the target they're just going to hit you regardless of your specific range unless you're beyond a specific border that's right but in yeah. this if, if the actual uh, model of the monster misses you then you do not take damage uh -huh. or the, the hit box that corresponds to the monster to I guess be more precise and that goes uh, for me as well if, if I'm out of range of the attack and it doesn't actually collide with the character's model uh my attack won't count. Um, some cool you just things. knock them over there? That's right, yeah. You can knock enemies over. I'm not quite sure what triggers the uh, knockdown. It seems to be uh, either linked to hitting them in the middle of one of their attacks or counterattacking, um, or it could just be completely random. Um, I've seen some very coincidental looking knockdowns where like, I've dodged an attack and then moved out of the way and, and hit them uh, and had them fall over. But then again, it could have just been purely coincidental. Um, and so you're not actually targeting these monsters with, uh, like, yeah, say, telling the game specifically target this guy. You're just sort of wandering up to them and hitting them. That's right. And in fact, there's no auto attack either. So I actually have to click to attack. Um, I can actually hold down the attack button. Um, but as you'll see, like, if I'm if I'm not facing the right way, I'm just not going to hit the monster. And they'll, they'll sneak up behind me and hit me. These guys are very weak. Uh, and they also laugh at me. <laughs> uh, these are just sort of there to... So was, yeah, that guy was laughing his ass off as he died there. That was kind of creepy. Yeah, those things are really creepy in a weird way. Um, but you'll see, like, as I'm killing things, I'm getting uh, kill credit. I've actually finished this quest for these. I had only had to kill four of these dudes, and I leveled up. Um, so this is the Lancer. This is one of the tanker, tankier classes. Um, the interestingly enough, whereas a lot of MMOs, the classes are differentiated by the way their spell rotations work or by... Uh, what range they have to stand at, or whether they get a pet or not. Uh, because Terra uses an action combat system, classes are differentiated by the way the attacks uh, function within, like their, their attack speed, for example. The Lancer's attacks are very slow, and they hit multiple times, which means I have to be lined up against an enemy for me to be able to max out my damage. Um, and because I don't have a dodge ability, I have to be able to block, and I have to be able to... Oh, the Lancer can't dodge. The Lancer can't dodge. Okay. Uh, but he can block. So if I if I stand here and then block, I hold my shield out. He'll try and attack me. It says uh, d defend successful up just above my character. Can you chain that with a uh, like a counterattack? Like after you successfully block something, yep. you can then follow up with a, a situational um, attack. I guess that there are certainly uh, there are some attacks that are actually triggered off of things like blocks or dodges. Um, and then can you hit through targets? So if if like, can your lance extend through that creature into... I, I believe it may have it just, just done that, Did yes. it just happen? Yeah, because uh, that guy just fell over. Yeah, so that's another thing about the lancer. Is that his, he's got quite a large range with his melee attack. Okay, so in groups, let's say, let's say you ran around and aggroed a whole bunch of different monsters, then ran away from them so maybe they followed you in a line, mm -hmm. then you could turn around and basically spear them all with, uh, with an attack or something like That's that. That's a distinct possibility, and I, in fact, I think there are groups of enemies this way I can try that on. Um, I actually like the Lancer quite a lot. I, was, I remember playing the Lancer at a demo and not being too fond of it because the attack was so slow, but its emphasis on positioning makes it quite interesting. 
uh, it's quite different from all the other ones. Look at this dude. Yeah, so so basically that just makes the, the game seem much more Monster Hunter-like in yeah. that you have to be very uh, careful about your movement, about your attack timing, mm. um, and about your positioning on screen, uh, much much more so than, than specific uh, rotations of skills. Although those do still exist in the game, right? You can do some kind of combo attacks. That's right, yeah. Um, I, I don't know if you have those unlocked on this character not, right now. Not yet. This is this is uh, this character's only level two right now. I actually haven't gone to the trainer from level two spell. So way to go. Sorry guys, um, but that's just a basic overview of the very start of the game, uh, quest structure, and very very early look at the Lancer. Yeah, and it, I mean obviously this game is really pretty, um, and it seems to run really well. Like this, it's still a couple months out. Uh, it's still in closed beta testing, mm -hmm. but the performance has been really good. Yeah, it's it's a really gorgeous game, and I mean look at this, look at this. Yeah, so uh, before <laughs> you should definitely trigger some of the emotes on this cat. This is a dance. Yes, this is a dance. That's like, oh, I'm so confused. I don't, I don't understand what's going on right now. But clearly, he does understand what's going on. He should be ashamed. I wonder if there's a, yeah, let's try sh slash shame. Nope. <laughs> when has there been a slash shame command? I don't know. Actually, I think there was a, there was one in World of Warcraft. I think where it was shame. Character, character is ashamed of you. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um. But actually, if I stand still long enough, he does a little dance and, and he looks around and sniffs. A dance that's it's, different from that one? Yeah, it's, it's more like a nervous wiggle than a dance. Um, but it, it's somewhat randomized, so I'm not going to make you wait five minutes to watch this happen. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the combat does seem to flow pretty naturally, uh, you know, so you're, it doesn't feel like this, uh, you know, really static, sort of stilted kind of minigame. It feels yeah. more, more like an actual action title. Uh -huh. and, and in the early parts of the game, it's very easy to dodge these attacks. They give you, like, five seconds uh, to after the, the character signals he's going to attack for you. Yeah, the, the, the characters will give away sort of tells. Yeah, uh, see if it, you'll see him. Oh, he's waving his arms around. What could that mean? Oh, he tried to sh shoulder me. So, yeah, he does that. Oh, he's going to try and punch me now. Yeah, so he has like a wind-up so that you have time to get out yeah. of the way or, or throw your shield up. And in the early portions of the game, the wind-up is huge. Uh, later on, the wind-ups are much shorter uh, and the attacks are much stronger. So it certainly ramps up in difficulty. And keep in mind, these are level 2 creatures and they still hit quite hard and so you still have to be able to dodge if you want to survive. Um, it's, it's quite at odds with many of the other games where a level 1 or 2 creature take two hits and they die and they have to hit you about a hundred times for you to die. You know, it's uh, it's quite a different dynamic straight from the start. Uh, and to give a sense of sort of how big the game world is, I mean, you're on the starting island right now, which is kind of isolated in the center of the world map. Yes. So uh, this is it right here. Um, I've traveled from here to here and wandered around. Uh, this is the smallest area in the game as far as I can tell because this is the rest of the game. Um, and there is, it looks like there are some maps that aren't quite finished yet. Or, uh, or haven't been implemented. Um, but yeah, this is, it looks like there's going to be a, quite a lot of, of content for, all, for launch. Uh, so that's, that's the start of, of Terra. Uh, for a lot more on Terra, you can actually see a lot more of the character classes uh, on IGN.com.